Matthew chapter 6 verse 21 For where your treasure is There will your heart be also For where your treasure is There will your heart be also I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakodash I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad Teaching his word and sincerity and truth Shalom Alright, I'm the brother Taza Wolf from the GMS New Jersey camp. And this one here is going to be a quick hit. I'm in the book of Matthew 6, starting at verse 21. Alright, this is written in red. So this is Yahweh Shai speaking. He says, For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Alright, and that speaks volumes. You know, it's a, it's a form. You can use this as wisdom. You can use it you know, to examine yourself. And you can also use this to discern with others. All right? Because it says, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So wherever a man's treasure is focused upon or his goals, or let's say his priority, there will his heart be also. That's where his mind is at. So, it's priority. All right? Priority. For where your priority is, there will your heart be also. Now, quick Google search for priority. It says the fact or condition of being regarded or treated as more important. The fact or condition of being regarded or treated as more important. So if you have the world, all right, and you are a lover of the world, that is that is being regarded and treated as more important than the word. You know, this is why the Lord blinded two thirds. All right. They believe the things of the world are more important than just reading the Bible. You know. But if you of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and of the Lord's whole for elect, your priority is this word and you treat it with being regarded, you know, as more important. All right. So Matthew 6 and 21 for where your treasure is there there will your heart be also. Verse 22, the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thy eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thy eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? So we have to keep our eye single and our priority focus upon Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. It says the light of the body is the eye. Because we all carry a certain light. All right. The righteous of the Lord, the whole four elect, that carry, they carry that light. And then you got the wicked, they carry that light of darkness. So it says, if therefore thou eye be single... Thou whole body shall be full of light. But if thou I be evil, thou whole body is full of darkness. So if you of the world, you know, Paul said, if it's not of faith, then it's sin. All right. So if you of the world, then the light that you carry is of darkness. And then it says, how great is that darkness? You know, we're approaching rough times. All right. Which is also beautiful times because salvation is coming to the Lord's elect. But also in the heat of the moment of Jacob's trouble. When someone you know. Their mind is. They have a light of darkness. You got to say to yourself. Well how great is that darkness? Because there is no uh, limit to what they would do. That is wicked. You know. The hours of temptation are approaching. So, you know, it's something to think about. I want to jump down to verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. What is going to be added unto us? The things that are needed. Okay. The things that, you know, you know, as in the flesh, we, we, we think about food, water, clothes, shelter, protection. The Lord said. But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh, 
meaning put your 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 focus all right your priority let me use that word it's a better word priority on the kingdom of Yahweh. but seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you verse 34 take therefore no thought for tomorrow for tomorrow shall take thought for the things of itself sufficient unto the day of evil thereof so you know tomorrow takes thought for itself you know that's why the scriptures speak on hasting in the day you know hasting in the day worried about now you know don't get into that spirit of worrying about later and everything that comes with it but worry about now while you're living in the now all right because the later is going to take thought of itself so as the scriptures say but seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you all right so i want to give all praises to Yahweh by shimmy habashai by shimra kakwadash i want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone salutations to the lord's elect shalom